Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 20th and 21st of november the session will be very interesting so do pay attention till the end let's start the first news is we are talking about Silver treasures from Denmark and India, they will be showcased at an exhibition that will be conducted by National Museum of India, that is India's National Museum that is in New Delhi, that has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Museum of Denmark by the name Colding Museum. Alright, I repeat, you need to remember this and this is important, that India's National Museum has signed a memorandum of understanding with Colding Museum. This is of India and this is of Denmark. So these two countries or you can say came together so that the museum of these two countries signed a memorandum of understanding so that an exhibition can be hosted by the same. All right. And it was a silver treasures from Denmark and India. This exhibition will take place in the month of March in the year 2023. That is the next year. And remember here it will showcase the silver or you can say this will showcase the silver collections from both these museums. Around 200 of the finest silver artifacts from the collection of Danish as well as Indian artifacts will be showcasted here all right then if we talk about denmark what is the capital of denmark copenhagen is the capital what is the currency that we use here it is danish kron danish kron and it is also known by the name dkk all right so remember all things the india's national museum that is in delhi has signed a memorandum of understanding with the museum Colding that is in Denmark so that they will be showcasting almost around 200 our finest silver artifacts in this exhibition that will be held in the month of March 2023. Next news. Next we are talking about providing education to providing training to the teachers and students of Eklavve, that is your Eklavve 
मॉडल रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल दीज आर नोन बाय द नेम ई एम आर एस दैट इज ए क्लब वे मॉडल रेजिडेंशियल स्कूल इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड दम स्किल्स इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोवाइड द टीचर्स इन ट्रेनिंग इन द आर्टिफिशियल रियलिटी ऑग्यूमेंटेड रियलिटी वर्चुअल रियलिटी ऑल राइट सो दैट द स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी एक्यूप विद इट एंड ऑल्सो द टीचर्स कैन बी ट्रेन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर फील्ड सो दैट दे विल हेल्प इन बिल्डिंग द इंडियाज मेटावर्स दैट इज द रीजन two organizations came together to sign an mou and these two organizations they are nests that is your national education society for tribal students along with 1m 1b that is your 1 million for 1 billion foundation that is this stands for 1 million teachers for 1 billion students all right so in order to train the teachers as well as students of this emras that is uh, emrs that is your eklavya model residential schools so that to provide them immersive exposure and experiential learning in the field of artificial reality augmented reality virtual reality that is launched by cbsc all right highly important remember this so which two organization national education society for tribal students and 1 million for 1 billion foundation signed this mou then remember this project this project will be launched on the pilot basis in two states of india which are those two states rajasthan and uttarakhand these are the two states where this pilot project was launched to train the teachers for the same that is for artificial reality and virtual reality next next remember as we know india will be having the presidency of g20 now all right from 1st of december 2022 to 30th of november 2023 all right also for the same india launched a theme that was vasudev kutumbakam all right this was for g20 who is having the current presidency or last presidency it was with indonesia now we will come and talk about sco that is your shanghai corporation organization so india launched an official website of sco recently for the year 2023 for a secure sco now secure this is important because there is a full form of this secure that you need to remember that is security economic connectivity unity respect environment that is your secure all right india will be hosting or you can say india will be hosting the next sco summit as the chairman who will be the next which country will be the next chairperson of the sco in 2023 it will be india all right highly important and remember this is the for the first time that india will preside over the sco council of head of states that will begin in september 2022 and it will go on till the september 23 here one more thing you need to remember regarding the g20 summit that the 18th edition of this g2 uh, g20 summit will be held where it will be held in new delhi in the month of september only in 2023 this time that was held in bali indonesia it was the 17th edition of this g20 summit all right so these are some things that you definitely need to remember and the question can be asked here and this secure remember prime minister narendra modi proposed the concept of this secure at the 2018 sco summit that was held in china and these are the full form that definitely you need to remember regarding this then if we talk about sco this sco was established on 15th of june 2001 where was this established in shanghai china All right. Where is the headquarter of it? It was uh, the headquarter of this SEO is in Beijing, China. All right. Highly important. And now remember, this SEO has eight members. Which are these eight members? China, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan. These are the eight full members. And remember, in two thousand seventeen, Pakistan and India also became the full members of it. All right so these are some things that you need to remember regarding the new website that was launched by India for SEO Next CEC we studied about this that chief election commissioner Rajiv Kumar will be the 
विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ द और विल बी एक्टिंग एज अ इंटरनेशनल गार्डियन और ही विल बी लुकिंग ओवर द इलेक्शन ऑफ नेपाल दिस वॉज द न्यूज दैट वी डिस्कस फ्यू डेज बैक नाउ रिमेंबर चीफ इलेक्शन कमिश्नर राजीव कुमार इनाग्रेटेड अ टू डे इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो सी ई सी ऑफ इंडिया राजीव कुमार इनाग्रेटेड अ टू डे इंटरनेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस दैट वॉज फ्रॉम थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर एंड ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ नवंबर दिस टू डे कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉज बेस्ड ऑन द थीम दैट वॉज रोल फ्रेमवर्क एंड कैपेसिटी ऑफ इलेक्शन मैनेजमेंट बॉडीज एंड कंक्लूडिंग सेशन वॉज चेयर्ड बाय द इलेक्शन कमिश्नर अनूप चंद्र पांडे इन न्यू डेली ऑल राइट रिमेंबर दिस हू इनाग्रेटेड दिस इट वॉज इनाग्रेटेड बाय राजीव कुमार वॉट वॉज द थीम ऑन विच इट वॉज बेस्ड दिस इज द थीम ऑन विच इट वॉज बेस्ड नेक्स्ट न्यूज नवी एंड पिरामल फाइनेंस आर एंटरिंग इन टू अ को लैंडिंग पार्टनरशिप इंपॉर्टेंट आई रिपीट नवी ग्रुप अ टेक्नोलॉजी ड्रिवन फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट एंड सर्विसेज कंपनी ऑल राइट दिस वॉज फाउंडेड बाय सचिन बंसल एंड अंकित अग्रवाल दे दिस ग्रुप नवी ग्रुप इज गेटिंग इन टू अ पार्टनरशिप विद पीरामल कैपिटल एंड हाउसिंग फाइनेंस एंड लिमिटेड टू ऑफर डिजिटल पर्सनल लोन इंपॉर्टेंट इन ऑर्डर टू ऑफर डिजिटल पर्सनल लोन नवी ग्रुप एंड पीरामल फाइनेंस आर एंटरिंग इन टू अम ओ यू और दे आर एंटरिंग इन टू अ पार्टनरशिप वेयर दे विल बी ऑफरिंग डिजिटल पर्सनल लोन हेयर द बॉरवर्स कैन अवेल द पर्सनल लोन ऑफ अप टू ट्वेंटी लैख रुपीज विद द टेन ईयर ऑफ अप टू सेवेंटी टू मंथ्स ऑन नवी एप अंडर दिस पार्टनरशिप एंड ऑल्सो रिमेंबर हेयर पीरामल फाइनेंस विल फंड 80% of the loan and 20% will be funded by Navi Fincer that is a wholly owned subsidiary of Navi Technology so this will be Navi will be 20% funding here and Fincer uh, sorry Piramal Finance it will be funding around 80% of the same and up to 20 lakh rupees loan will be provided here and this will be for 72 months can you tell me 72 months are how many months the, <coughs> this is your 6 years for installments for will be provided here next next is mahindra group they have partnered with bill and melinda gates foundation all right this is an ngo founded by bill and melinda gates when who is bill gates we all know founder of microsoft so mahindra group has recently signed an mou with bill and melinda gates and the reason for this is to support the women's economic empowerment in india highly important to remember this i repeat In order to support women's economic empowerment in India, Mahindra Group has signed a memorandum of understanding with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. All right, basically we are saying here that we will be helping women in their economic empowerment. We'll be telling telling them about how to save money, how to earn more money by various businesses. Everything will be helped here. All right, then that. Two year MOU is an initiative to achieve environmental social governance commitment of impacting 1 million women annually from 2026. This MOU was signed by Anish Shah who is the managing director and chief executive officer of Mahindra Group and Hari Menon who is the director of Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation in India. So this point is also important. All right. Next news Next news is India has been honored with the excellence in leadership for family planning all right excel award remember this india has been honored with the excellence in leadership for family planning award that is excel award remember this which country was awarded it was india all right highly important india was awarded with this award during an international conference that was held in pataya thailand at this and this conference was based on family planning all right apart from this remember according to the nhsf data the overall contraceptive prevalence rate in india has improved dramatically from 54% to 67% since nfhs 4 apart from this remember according to a national uh, family health survey this is only your national family health survey fifth data india has achieved great progress not just in improving access but also in adoption of modern contraceptive methods that encourage couples to make informed family 
choices all right highly important remember this then apart from this remember the percentage of the unmet needs for the family planning has significantly decreased from 13 to 9 percent mission privar vikas one of the flagship programs of the government of india aims to address unmet family planning needs unmet spacing needs have also dropped to less than 10 percent so just remember this which is the country that has been honored with the excellence in leadership for planning uh for family planning awards that is your excel awards it was your india all right and this was india as india is a country so remember india was honored this in the country category all right and where was india honored with this it was at the conference on family planning that was held in pattaya thailand next next is a kathan a kathak veteran uma sharma has received the sumitra charat ram award highly important remember uma sharma received the sumitra charat ram award for her contribution in the indian classical music and dance in a ceremony that was organized at kamani auditorium by shriram bhartiya kala kendra that was in new delhi i and the important thing that you need to remember here is that sumitra charat ram award was awarded to whom it was awarded to uma sharma ji all right she is related to kathak dance all right highly important remember this and she was awarded with this award for her contribution in indian classical music and dance moving on next next is former a uh, government extended a tenure of enforcement director chief sanjay kumar mishra till november 2023 so we can say his term has been extended by one year all right highly important chief sanjay kumar mishra he is the chief of the, uh, the enforcement director who has extended whose term period has been extended by full one year highly important here you can see government of india extended the ed that is your enforcement director chief sanjay kumar mishra and his term has been extended till 18th of november 2023 and this will be the sanjay kumar mishra's fifth year as the ed chief india's leading financial probe agency apart from this who approved this extension it was acc that is appointment committee of the cabinet he this approved it all right this was the news but apart from this friends let me tell you one more thing recently harper collins india publisher of the year all right harper collins india has won the publisher of the year title mark this who is the or which company is the consider to be the publish of the year for 2022 it is harper collins india highly important all right and they was awarded with this title at the tata literature live the mumbai lit fest that was held at tata theater at the national center for the performing arts in mumbai maharashtra all right highly important and the main aim of this title or award is to recognize and encourage literary talents across genres for both new and established writers all right so harper collins india has been described as the publisher of the year 2022 coming back moving on which is the world when do we observe world toilet day remember world toilet day is observed on 19th of november highly important who observes this day it is observed by united nations united nations observes the world toilet day and it is observed annually on 19th of november to raise awareness of around 3.6 billion people who have lack of access to safe sanitation all right also remember the theme of this world toilet day that you need to remember is making the invisible visible what is the theme making the invisible visible all right this is the theme of the world toilet day all right highly important 
मार्क दिस ऑल्सो वर्ल्ड टॉयलेट डे इवेंट इन इंडिया वी टॉक अबाउट स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ जल शक्ति हैज ऑर्गेनाइज अ स्वच्छता रन अक्रॉस रूरल इंडिया टू कमेमोरेट द वर्ल्ड टॉयलेट डे ऑन नाइनटीन ऑफ नवंबर हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट ऑल्सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ शक्ति लॉन्च दे स्वच्छ भारत मिशन ग्रामीण इन द ईयर टू विद अ फोकस ऑफ सैनिटेशन एंड स्पीड अप efforts to achieve the universal sanitation coverage and we know we have a aim to become full sanitation that means also open deficit free country all in many villages because we know in many parts of india still people do not have a proper access to toilet they go and in do an open deficit so in order to avoid that in order to avoid that we want that toilet should be there in each and every household and this is the reason we are celebrating the world toilet day to encourage it next next is international men's day we observe international men's day on 19th of november important day it talks about the men it is in the <laughs> honor of men that men in our lives to acknowledge their cultural political and socio economic achievement that they have done and they contribute to the society similarly then you need to remember the theme here that is helping men and boys helping men and boys this is the theme that you need to remember for the international men's day that is observed on 19th of november this day is also helps to raise awareness of men's wellbeing and promote basic awareness towards men's issues also remember this day was celebrated for the first on when do we observe this in february in 1992 next next is women entrepreneurship day i repeat women entrepreneurship day is observed on 19th of november this day is annually observed on this day to acknowledge support and celebrate the contribution of women entrepreneurs and help them in growing their business and becoming a business leader also remember this is basically for the betterment of the society as if women will be working they will be contributing towards their household and been bringing more amount of money that will be helping in to grow their household Also remember there was a campaign for the women's entrepreneurship day that was hashtag choose women choose women this is the campaign of the women's entrepreneurship day this highlights the businesses and the startups that are led by women and to receive the spotlight and the support they deserve all right highly important also remember if we talk about women entrepreneurship day it is observed by women entrepreneurship department a uh, women entrepreneurship day organization who was the founder here wendy diamond is the owner and remember where is the headquarter it is located in new york united states of america next next is national integration day when do we observe national integration day it is observed on 19th of november another thing important you need to remember is that this national integration day is also known as kwami ekta divas i repeat kwami ekta divas this is annually observed on 19th of november and that is the birth anniversary of the india's first female prime minister that is indira gandhi as you can see her in the picture highly important friends so question can be asked that kwami ekta divas it is observed when it is observed on 19th of november it is observed on the birth anniversary of whom it is observed on the birth anniversary of indira gandhi who was the first female prime minister of india and you know the full full name of indira gandhi the name is indira priya darshini gandhi all right and she was famously known by the name indira gandhi only all right highly important then the year 2022 here we observe the 100 and fifth birth anniversary of indira gandhi in the year 2022 also the purpose of this day is to inculcate the minds of the citizens of india the value of unity in diversity in this socio cultural diverse nation <laughs> then if we talk about indira gandhi we know her full name is indira priya darshini gandhi she was born 
on November 19th in 1917 in Allahabad Uttar Pradesh India she has she was born as the India's first prime minister uh, Jawaharlal Nehru and his wife Kamla Nehru all right highly important and Indira Gandhi she became the first female prime minister of India in addition she was the india's second longest serving prime minister after her father jawaharlal nehru that was from 15th of august 1947 to 27th of may 1964 also remember she was a member of the indian national congress that is your inc and was elected as the highest post as pm for the first time in 1966 next is world day for the prevention of and healing from child sexual exploitation abuse and violence This day is observed on 18th of November highly important. All right and remember the resolution was passed by United Nations General Assembly to observe this day on 18th of November highly important. All right and this day and this uh, resolution was supported co-sponsored by more than 120 countries. All right and this day is committed to raise public awareness of those affected by child sexual abuse. prevent and eliminate child sexual exploitation abuse and violence then we know united nation observes this if we talk about united nation can you tell me where is the headquarter it is in new york united states of america in you, uh, you remember similarly undp's headquarter is also in new york only then next next is world anti microbial awareness week we observe this from 18 to 24th of november to raise awareness of the growing problems of anti microbial resistance that is also known by the term amr all right then the purpose of this week is to create awareness about the global amr that is your anti microbial resistance and to promote the best practices among stakeholders in one health and encourage better practices among the general public medical professionals and policy makers then if we talk about world anti microbial awareness week here the theme that you need to remember is preventing anti microbial resistance together this is the theme for it and they now just we discuss that what is anti microbial resistance it is basically a resistance or a condition in which bacteria or viruses or fungi parasites they evolve over time and they cease to be responsible to medicines or the vaccines that we take there is no effect on them all right so that is the reason we observe this anti microbial resistance among the various parasites and bacteria and similarly for this only we are observing this world anti microbial awareness week from 18 to 24th of november this is observed by who director general of who will be dr tedros gebreses and the headquarter is in geneva switzerland <coughs> next next is odisha's chief minister navin patnaik has launched mukhya mantri shiksha puraskar yojana important i repeat odisha's chief minister they have launched a scheme that is mukhya mantri shiksha shiksha puraskar yojana that is an award and a scholarship scheme that will encourage healthy competition between the state schools to organize the excellence in education i repeat an award and a scholarship scheme was launched by odisha's chief minister navin patnaik and what was the name of it mukhya mantri shiksha puraskar yojana highly important also remember the chief minister also launched the digital locker arrangement for the council of higher secondary education where students can access their certificates mark sheets and other academic documents through this virtual locker all right then if we talk about this mukhya mantri shiksha shiksha puraskar yojana here under this program an annual awards of total 100 crore rupees per year will be given to school students education institutes principals teachers school management committees for achieving the excellence in education this award and recognition will in turn increase the education literacy in the particular state also the award will be given to around 50000 students 1500 principals school management committees gram panchayat district administrators and etc all right so remember this then if we talk about odisha who is the governor of odisha ganeshi lal ji is the odisha who is the chief minister navin patnaik is the chief minister all right then if i ask you 
Lakri Valley Sanctuary. Where it is located? Lakri Valley Sanctuary. It is in Odisha. In Odisha only, Mobus service was launched. In Odisha only, first Olympic Values Education program was launched. In Odisha only, first Tribal Health Observatory was set up to make a database of the health of tribal people. <coughs> Moving on. Next is Odisha's Chief Minister Navin Patnaik has approved Praram and Praram is the Odisha state policy for children for the year 2022. Highly important, mark this. I repeat, what is Praram? Praram is basically the Odisha state policy for children 2022 and the Odisha state policy for the year 2022 for children was also approved by Naveen Patnayak. Alright, these are the two major policies that are the part of development of children's welfare beside 15 other proposals. If we talk about Praram, the Odisha State Policy for Children 2022, this was launched by the State Department of Women and Child Development in collaboration with other state departments and organizations. The age for this policy is child, uh, the age for this policy is childhood includes the period from conception till 18 years of age and this is in accordance with the United Nations on the Convention Rights of the Children. So coming back two policies that you need to remember one is Praram the Odisha State Policy for Children 2022 and second is the Odisha State Policy for the Children 2022. These are the two policies that you need to remember one is the name with the name Praram. Alright these are launched by the Chief Minister of Odisha that is Naveen Patnayak and apart from this we just saw they also launched Mukhya Mantri Siraksha Puraskar Yojana. So that's all for the day friends for the current affairs. Now let's go for a quick revision. <clears throat> India's National Museum in New Delhi signed an MOU with Denmark's Museum Kolding for showcasing around 200 silver artifacts. Then NESTS and 1M1B Foundation signed an MOU to train teachers and students of EMRS in the field of artificial reality virtual reality. India launched official website of SEO for 2023 that is for a secure SEO and India will be having the presidency or chairmanship of SEO 2023. CEC Rajiv Kumar inaugurated the two day international conference. SLIC get the PFRDA not to become an annuity service provider. Navim and Piramal Finance came together into a co-lending partnership that will be providing personal loans for 6 years up to 20 lakh rupees and in this Piramal Finance will be sponsoring 80% of the loan and rest 20 will be provided by Navi. JKRLM signed an agreement with Misho to empower 18,000 self-help groups. Mahindra Group partnered with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation recently to work towards the women entrepreneurship. Then India has won the Excel Award for the leadership in the family planning for the year 2022. <clears throat> Harper Collins India has won the Publisher of the Year Award. Kathak veteran Uma Shankar has received Sumitra Charat Ram Award. Government of India extended the tenure of ED Chief Sanjay Kumar Mishra for another one year. World Toilet Day is observed on 19th of November. International Men's Day observed on 19th of November. World Entrepreneurship Day observed on 19th of November. National Integration Day on 19th of November. First World Day for the Prevention of and Healing from Child Sexual Exploitation, Abuse, Violence observed on 18th of November. Alright, these are important. World Antimicrobial Awareness Week on 18th to 24th of November. Then Odisha's Chief Minister Navin Patnayak has launched Mukhya Mantri Siraksha Puraskar Yojana. Alright, Mukhya Mantri Siksha Puraskar Yojana. Then FTCCI signed an MOU with FERB of Turkey to facilitate trade and investment between Telangana and Turkey. And Praram, important mark this, Chief Minister Navin Patnaik approves the Odisha state policy for children Praram. So that's all for the day friends. Now let's go to the homework part. First is India is set to unveil young professional schemes with which country? Second. Respect for Marriage Act is associated with which country? 
थर्ड डॉनी पॉलो एयरपोर्ट हैज बिन इनोग्रेटेड इन विथ स्टेट और यूनियन टेरिटरी सी वी आनंदा बोस हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द गवर्नर ऑफ विच स्टेट फिफ्थ विच स्टेट होस्टेड द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट ओलंपिक गेम्स इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो दीज आर योर फाइव होमवर्क क्वेश्चन फ्रेंड्स इफ यू डोंट नो द आंसर यू नो जस्ट गूगल दैम यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड फुल आर्टिकल्स ऑन दैम जस्ट रीड दैम एंड देन कमेंट बिलो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस फ्रेंड्स इफ यू फाइंड द सेशन इंटरेस्टिंग ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज कमेंट बिलो एंड लेट अस नो वॉट आर योर व्यूज ऑन सच सेशन डू लाइक द वीडियो एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू आर चैनल डू सब्सक्राइब वीड अपलोड करंट अफेयर्स ऑन डेली बेसिस वीकली बेसिस एंड मंथली बेसिस ऑल्सो सो दीज कंटेंट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर प्रिपरेशन डू रिवाइज दैम apart from this we upload topic wise videos also these topic wise videos they include national affairs international affairs awards sports defense science and technology webs and app portals these are important topics important days that we upload on daily basis so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas Ten, you will be getting an additional extra ten percent discount by using this code Vikas Ten. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is nine six double seven double three three eight six two. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud dot com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon. and resolving your issue